Welcome back, hunters, to another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. I just want to apologize. I wasn't able to release the last episode on Thursday. I'm actually still recovering from a flu, so if you if you hear my nose a little blocked, that's why. We'll just have to bear with it. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the bow as requested by a lot of people. Now, before we go on the hunt, I did want to actually talk to you about something very important, something that I discovered a little bit late into the game, but I discovered how to start unlocking new attacks and abilities that all the weapons have. And I'll actually show you where you can actually go about doing that. You can actually go over to the trainer and actually purchase these books that have little images of the specific weapons that you're looking to unlock new attacks from. And they are level restricted, so you can't just go out and buy them all right away you will have to actually level up your character. You'll have to make sure that you also have these pink slips and also that you have enough money to pay for them. Once you get the book, all you have to do is right click it, open it up and your character learns the new ability. Now I've unlocked already all the moves available for the bow, so I've been really enjoying the weapon. It's a lot of fun to play. You just need to make sure you have those specific item requirements and level requirements before you go out and start buying them. Also, I wanted to take the time to greet a lot of the new players that have actually joined the server because they have been watching my episodes, so big welcome to everyone, I hope you're all having fun. We actually have a really handy Discord Monster Hunter Online server group that you can actually join, and I'll actually include the link in the description below here. Uh, everyone's really happy to help you out, you can actually speak to me and also the mods whenever they are available or online. So check it out, uh, it's free for everyone, and we look forward to seeing you in the chat. For today's hunt, I'm going to be going after the Kezu, which is actually a classic monster from the Monster Hunter series. And it's actually the armor that I'm wearing currently right now. I actually had the chance to farm him a little bit and get all the pieces that I needed for this set. In terms of the bow that I'm using, it's actually a much later monster's weapon that I'm going to be talking about when we reach that point. For now, let me just say that it's actually a really great bow and I really enjoy it. And I'll also be talking about what to expect from the bow in this episode while we're fighting the Kezu. So let's go hunting. I've actually been a big fan of this zone. It actually looks really nice. I love the colors and the vibrance of it. Uh, not too much of a fan of the fact that I have to take a hot drink, which I think I forgot to do. Yeah, I did. Here we go. So as you can see, the Kezu looks a lot like a Silent Hill 3 monster. And I'll actually show you the little image here that I found online of the monster that I'm referring to. There is no music, by the way. Anytime that you fight the Kezu, there is never any music that you hear. So don't be alarmed if you don't hear any epic music track playing in the background. Now in terms of the bow, it actually took me uh, a little while to get used to since I've actually never played with the bow in any of the previous Monster Hunter games. Except for Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, I only played it briefly. Each bow has a different set of charge attacks and also capabilities, so uh, right now the one that I'm using has... I'll show you right here in a moment here when I'm not charging. So this is just a regular shot. Three vertical arrows on charge. On the second charge, it actually shoots three arrows horizontally. And the third and last shot, it's a fully charged triple vertical shot. Uh oh, 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 and I just got zapped. So that's actually one of uh, the Kezu's classic moves is he'll stun you and you'll have to either get hit or woken up by someone. They did, however, add some new movesets to the Kezu, which is actually very interesting. He does this really neat triple charge ground attack, which I'm not sure if we'll get a chance to see it. Now, I spoke about some of the moves that you actually get by purchasing the books and then unlocking them by right-clicking on them. That move that you get to see there, I shoot the charge arrow, and then I shoot a second volley right after and turn around. That's actually one of the moves that I unlocked. It's actually really handy for getting out of situations when you're just getting ready to do a double attack and then you can roll out of the way. Now another neat thing you can do with the bow is that you can actually go into almost like a third person aiming mode. If, uh, you know, if Kezu will actually let me show it off here. So where was I? Third person aiming mode. And while you're charging it, you can actually see the arc of where your arrows are going to go flying. So it's actually really handy if the monster is really far away, or if you just feel like aiming at a specific body part. Now, there is another capability here when you hit the circle button. Oh, I'm going to miss. Oh, I hit him. Ooh, that was a lucky shot. That would have hit me so hard. Okay, so here's the triple ground charge that I've never seen before in any previous Monster Hunter game. You have to make sure you really stay away from that AoE move. And he's flying away again. You know, the very important thing is you also get, if you hit F2 on the keyboard, 
you can actually activate the power shot. The power shot is uh, 10 arrows that you actually get per uh, hunt only that inflict a lot more damage. And especially if the monster is asleep, you can inflict a lot of damage with this arrow. As you can see, that was the power shot that I just used there. It, you can actually charge it to a red glow. And that's when you know it's at its fullest attack power. Alright, I'm going to show you guys. Now, this arc shot here that I'm charging up, it sometimes has different movesets compared to the different bows that you can get. For example... Oh, gotta be careful here. This one here just shoots one volley that explodes and that took him out. <laughs> the other bow that I have actually shoots an arc shot of, I think, multiple arrows into the air and then it all comes down raining on the monster. So, they actually are very good for inflicting KO damage, so you can actually knock them out. Just be aware of that when you are doing the arc shots. You don't necessarily also have to aim for the head always. You can always hit them in the body and it should still inflict that uh, KO damage to the monster. Alright, so that was the Kezud. Uh, we're gonna go on to our next hunt now. For our next hunt, we're going to be going after another classic monster, the Basarios. He's a rock wyvern, and he likes to hide in the middle of the map in plain sight, uh, looking like almost like a rock formation, so uh, we're going to go after him. Uh, also, there's a few things that I wanted to show you here. I didn't get a chance to do it last time, but I actually equipped two different types of coatings, so I believe this one's the strength coating, which increases my arrow damage for 10 shots at the moment. And this is the sleep coating, which actually helps uh, put monsters to sleep, too. Uh, which then you can inflict a lot of damage if you do a strong power shot afterwards. Now, in order to actually coat your arrows with one of these uh, coatings, you actually have to hold L1 on your controller, which since I'm using the PS3 controller, it's going to be the L1 button, and then you hit triangle and circle at the same time. So as you can see here, I'm just loading it up. All right, so we found the Basarios. As you can see, it looks like a silly little rock formation. And fire. That woke him up. <laughs> so now you can see at the top left, my arrows have been increasing this little purple uh, bar. Okay. Basarios likes to dig underground, and they actually added a new capability here. You have to really... Or he's gonna leave. Oh, you think you're being clever, Basarios. You think, you think you're being clever just hiding there. You think I didn't see you do that. So, now that I've used up all my shots... I'm going to show you here what happens when you repeatedly press the circle button after you finish doing a full charge shot, now that you have that purple arrow looking bar showing up. Oh, come on! Fun fact, the Basarios is actually considered an infant wyvern in the Monster Hunter series. So there's another one that I think is in this game, I think he's uh, the Gravios. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you! Thank you, Shakalakas! I didn't want to hit you with that. It was, uh, it was supposed to be for the Basarios. Okay, these are really annoying. Alright, I managed to break the body piece of the Basarios there, so... Knock him over a little bit. I'm gonna actually coat my arrows with... Oh! Another quick thing, as you can see, I have a little symbol showing up on the side there on the left that's counting down. The way it works is that it actually, for a brief amount of time after you inflict several different attacks on the monster, it does charge up this little meter. It's like a yellow little uh, meter next to my name there the, where it says HR4. And once it fills up to the fullest, it actually uh, inflicts extra damage when you're in awakening mode, which is really, really handy. Okay, so as you can see, he has a new move here where he, he's gonna pop up and shoot a giant laser beam. I don't think I've ever seen him do that before. I think that's something unique to Monster Hunter Online. And you just want to make sure that you run up as close as possible to him so that you don't get hit by this attack. 
Uh-oh. Well, time to do my Superman dodge. Uh. Oh, yeah! What a dodge. I'm gonna get the power arrows active here, so I just hit F2 again. I really like the music for this fight. Oh! Now before I keep using these power arrows, I'm going to keep hitting him so I can get that awakening bonus, and then that way my power shots do even more damage. Oh, I see where you are. I see where you are. <coughs> oh, that's not even fair. I had no more zone to walk in. Oh god, no! Well, that was my first cart ever. So, uh, that's what I like to call bad luck that can happen sometimes. Wow. Now, where were we? All oh, right. I was trying to get Awakening active so I could use my power shots against the Mysterios here. And I'm about to just do that in a second. All right, knocked him over. Perfect time to get a good shot in his face. And this is now inflicting extra damage. Boom! Goodbye, Viserios. So, aside from me getting knocked out, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight. And I also hope you enjoyed me showcasing the bow, which, again, I am loving. It's actually probably my favorite weapon that I've used so far in Monster Hunter Online, so... In the foreseeable future, after I finish doing these weapon uh, show-off episodes, I'm probably going to main that and the Greatsword, just, just to let you guys know. Obviously, I, I do like variety, and from time to time I might whip out a new weapon. Heh, <laughs> phrasing. Um, but uh, just be aware of that. <laughs> Alright Hunters, that does it for another episode of Helix's Wild Hunts. I hope you enjoyed the bow episode and also the monsters that we fought today. Uh, keep the requests coming. Uh, next episode, we are going to be taking a look at the hammer since I haven't gotten any other requests for any other weapons. The other thing too is, there are two gunner classes that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, it's the, the heavy bow gun and I think the light bow gun. If you guys want to see them, let me know in the comments below. If not, after the hammer, I think I'm just going to stick to either the greatsword or the bow, so please let me know. As always, I appreciate the feedback, and thank you so much for making this show really great. I'm having such a blast doing this. I wish you all happy hunting, and I'll see you all on the next level. Oh god, my voice is so bright. Ugh. God, I had to get through the whole episode like that. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> oh.